We have offensive coordinator, Chad Scott. Questions for Coach Scott. Listen, Chad, the lead question I give for everyone is give me your thoughts, good, bad, from Saturday night. Good. Uh, we played, uh, I thought we played really physical, particularly up front. Play really physical at a running back spot with C.J. Donaldson. We played, we played clean football for the most part. We took care of the football. We did not fumble the ball or turn the ball over in that regard. So those, those were really, real, those were really good positives. Uh, for the most part, we we uh, did a good job straining across the board. Uh, the ne the negatives would be is not making the uh, not being able to execute. You know passes in critical pass situations and, and not being able, not being able to make the play when it mattered most and when we needed to play. And also just from just some couple of minor uh I can say minor is a major at the time, you know, just some, you know, disciplinary, you know, you know, penalties, whatnot at times where we might have had a big play like an explosive run and whatnot. So those would be the negatives, uh not being able to execute make plays when we need them the most and not being able to uh, execute uh pass games when we needed to execute the pass game. Passing game was Garrett thrown to the right people. Was he seeing the right people when when you were uh, throwing the ball? Yeah, for the most part, he just got to be able to make those throws. You know, he was he was seeing it really well. We did a great job. You know, they brought they they really pride themselves on the uh, third down package, and we had a great plan to you know keep that package off the field. And they was able to get on there a couple times, uh, but we had a great plan, great communication between the backs and the O line, and we picked it up really well. Thought probably a little late, later toward the end, you know, he got he got to looking at the rush a little bit, but he was seeing the right people. We just got to be able to execute, make those throws. Would you uh, see from CJ? Obviously, he was really good. But Man, he was really good. I tell you what, I saw from CJ Thompson. Like he played from an overall standpoint, from physicality and everything. I think that's probably his best football game thus far. Just in, in overall, I mean, he was physical running the football. He never got tackled by the first defender. Fender and yards at the contact was very physical in, in pass pro, and we've seen him before. But I mean, he was he was very physical in pass pro, and he he was into it. I mean, he was he he. Imagine everything that you thought you'd be way better in better shape. This is the first time you actually can get improved. Yeah, and I tell you what, and I was I was shocked. He played a lot of plays, and uh, you know, throughout camp, you know, he get a little winded sometimes. But I mean, his adrenaline was going. He was excited. I mean, heck, he could have played about every snap. To be honest with you, the way he was feeling. But uh, I was really excited the way he played. I thought he's best running back on the field. You have to manage his touches through the season because he takes a beating sometimes. So. Yeah, the way he played the other day. I mean, he played physical the other day. He got to do it. We talked about that the other day. He got to do a great job taking care of his body, but most definitely we got to, uh, you know, we need him for the whole season. So we definitely got to be smart about, you know, how we play him so, you know, uh, we don't wear him out, you know, keep him fresh. And, you know, so we got to do a great job. And that's also just us putting him in a good position sometimes, get some – Get some free runs. I thought the other day, for example, we had a couple like toss plays, uh, and we did a great job executing early, where you know getting some free yards before he gets you know sustains any kind of contact. So we got to do a great job trying to find ways to get him some free yards without him getting banged up. With how well um, specifically Zach Frazier was playing, yeah. how do you balance running inside versus running outside? The great thing is we can we can run it either way. I mean, it's really no balance. It really just and that's the beauty of it. I mean, it's it's more so of a balance of keeping defenses off, uh, keeping defenses guessing, uh, not being tendencyed up. I mean, I mean, yeah. Even if Zach's playing amazing, you don't just want to run it inside. Exactly right. That's what I'm saying. That's the beauty of having you know you got a uh, you know white mile and left tackle. You got doesn't necessarily right tackle, so we can run it to the left, to the right, up the middle. So you know uh, that's you know we just got to do it. obviously sometimes yeah, and heck it all works. So we did a good job running the ball the other day. We just got to keep them, just keep it balanced. We got to do a great job of that in the self scout and and make sure we don't uh, get tendencyed up from a defense standpoint where they can just you know pin them back, identify you know you know alignments and say okay this is the ball this ball's coming here, this ball's going there. You feel like the packages that you put together matched up well with what they ended, they ultimately gave you. I really do, and, yeah. and, I, and I was shocked uh, because I thought we'd see some stuff differently, but we, we really didn't see a lot differently from a run game standpoint. I thought we had a great game plan. I thought we did a great job, me and myself, Coach Moore, coming together, and uh, we did a great job adjusting as well uh, throughout, the, uh, throughout the game. You know, had a, uh, had a good run plan going in, and, you know, after a couple, uh, couple of nets in their defense, I thought they did a great job adjusting, and we came back and made some, some adjustments as well, and, and we were able to, you know, keep the ball moving on the ground, so – Thought we had a really good plan. The kids knew it, played fast, was able to go out there and execute. Though, you know, those those guys up front, White Milam and Doug Nestor and Zach Frazier, 
I mean, they were able to identify the looks that they uh, they saw, and that allowed them to go out there and play fast, physical, and tough. And same thing with Donaldson. Do you think you need to design plays for Garrett to run, or is he going to scramble so much anyway that he'll, he'll have those opportunities? Well, he'll he'll scramble he'll scramble enough to uh, create those opportunities. I don't think we need to design anymore for him to go take off and go run. How do you coach him to? have better vision downfield when he's he just got it. I think the, the biggest thing, he's got trust. And I told him on the sideline, he's, he's got to trust. Got the best offense line in the country, in my opinion. And uh, those running backs going to do a great job of, uh, you know, seeing the blitz as well. We had no missed blitz the other day. And so we got to do a great, he's just got to do a great job of trusting the guy, the guys up front and trusting those backs that they're going to not get him hit. You know, they're going to keep him clean and not, and not look at the rush. Where's the balance with trick plays? You want to keep people off balance, but sometimes I guess yeah. maybe you can overload it too much. Where, where do you, where is that balance? Well, you want to take risks, you know, and, and we need to take risks, you know. Uh, and we got the guys, the players to do so. I mean, it's more just a, a feel thing, you know. It's a, it, it's hard to say in terms of like a balance. It's more of a feel thing, like a truly in game feel and how teams are, you know, how aggressive they are towards certain runs or certain action or certain formations and being able to catch them off guard. So. You know, I think we were uh, – heck, we, were, we should have been – we should have been two for three the other day. I think we were one for three. But uh, it, we just got to be able to catch them off guard. One one more on Garrett. Um, and I know um, you, you have to kind of remind yourself, I don't think he has more than 150 career pass attempts. So he's still kind of yeah. coming along in the whole thing and the whole mm -hmm. scheme of things. Mm -hmm. So in that, in that regard, you have to kind of tell yourself, hey, he's still learning this part of it. Yeah. That, that and we got to – we got to establish a run early. Uh, we got to establish a run early. Find a way to get him an, an easy, easy completion. Um, you know, now I feel to kind of like you know, unnerve him a little bit. You know, get you know, get rid of the jitters. So rely on the rely on the run game heavily, and, and then find a way to get him like easy completion. Get him get him going. Get him unnerved up, and I think that'll ease him up a little bit. Devin and uh, even Cole talked about that one thing they want to work on individually is blocking. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you noticed in their game that that was still a weakness? And if they could do that, that's huge. And Cole's, and Cole's improved big time. In fact, one of the runs C.J. Donaldson had down there uh, going into the end zone, he did a phenomenal job uh, digging the uh, defensive end out. And so that's a, that's a continual improvement for him. He's doing a good job, and he wants to be good at blocking. You know, he is a pass catching. You know, he don't like to just be called a pass catching tight end. He wants to be perceived as a guy that can do it all, which and he's trying to do that. And then Devin Carter, we need those guys to be able to block on perimeter. We're gonna call plays and hopefully create explosives based on the play call and where the ball is caught. But with the running backs we got and the O line we got, if we can do a great job blocking downfield and on the perimeter, we'll create even more explosive plays with their sheer effort doing that. Not look like he likes to slide very much. Uh, how do you handle that? We got to play smart. We we need him for the season. He's gonna, he's gonna be a contributor, helping us win a lot of games this season. And so he's got to be smart. He's been around for a while. He understands it. He's been in games where he's been knocked out of games, and you know had to miss the games, and that doesn't feel so good to him. So he's got to be smart, and we got to work it in practice as well, like in just individual peers, and just kind of stress it. And he did a good job the other day. He slid one time, uh, but he's got to, but he's got to do. It. He got to be smart. He got to play smart, and you just got to continue to emphasize it. You know, he's a mature kid. He gets it. So just got to, we got to continue to emphasize it. He got to do it. Chad, sometimes in the preseason we heard you know decisions by the quarterbacks, interceptions. Um, I think Dante was talking about the number of picks sometimes and even drops. Which they were close, but no ball in danger Saturday. Fumbled, right? No, no, no fumbles. Uh, zero, zero fumbles. Like no, no ball in danger. It was just no ball in danger at all. In any, in any regard, uh, from an interception standpoint or a ball security standpoint, there was no ball in danger. We just got to put the ball in play. Obviously, and, great coaching, right? Took care of that. Mm -hmm. but was it going that like you guys stressed it so much? But was it getting better and better? That that made sense. Were you a little bit worried about it because it's the first game. I mean, that's that's pretty impressive against that defense. I'm yeah. Really no, it, it it is it is coaching both ways too because you know if the if the fumbles if the ball security are an issue it, it is coaching, and then on the flip side of it when it, when they do a great job of it, it is coaching we did a great job throughout the entire camp we do ball security drills absolutely every single day, I emphasize that absolutely every single day uh you know even the offensive line can recite the way we uh carry the football I mean it, it's something they 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 know it really well, 
And uh, one of the things I've done, you know, a great job of this year with all offense is that I show them a ball security clip uh, tape, and we watch that on uh, later in the week of how the defense is going to try to tackle them with the football. And I'm doing that right now for this game as well. And so they understand how aggressive those teams are and, and, and not to uh, – for us not to turn the ball over versus that defense. They try their best to get it too. That's going to give us a chance to be successful and win football games, taking care of the football. You know, even though that we had our chances, we had our opportunities, we just didn't capitalize. And one of the reasons uh, we had opportunities was the fact that we did not turn the ball over. A lot of times when teams play FCS opponents, mm -hmm. the narrative is you, you simplify, or you, your, your offense is vanilla. Mm -hmm. do, do, you, do you like that? I mean, will you go with that for Saturday when you simplify it down? No, we just, we, we're just going to be who we I think we're just going to be who we are. We got, we're just going to go out there and play our style of offense. We're not going to change. We're not going to change. We're just going to play our style of offense. Yeah. I'm sure objective number one is win the game. No doubt. Uh, beyond that, where does getting more guys on the field playing Saturday figure into that? Well, we got uh, we got some guys back like Jaheim White. You know, when you know, wasn't available for last game. He was there. wasn't available. He'll be back. Sighting guy with the ball in his hand. Got to get him going. Uh, Rodney Gallagher is uh, you know, uh, another player as well. That we need to be able to get the ball to. You know, these guys that are, do, do some special things with the ball in their hands. And then, uh, you know, Traylon Ray, you know, he got in the game a little bit, but we'd love to get him going a lot more. And these are just guys, we, I mean, we, we got a lot of talent on the team. You can never have enough. And, you know, we, we got to do a, a better job, a great job of putting these guys in position, or not necessarily position, but just putting them on the football field, give them opportunity to go make plays. And I think we, and we will this week. Thank you very much. Thank you all.